OpenAI has introduced the next generation of its revolutionary GPT-4 neural network, which is bigger and better than the previous version. By the way, it's already available for ChatGPT Plus and Microsoft Bing and their early adopters. Not only GPT-4 has become much more accurate with its data, but it also got new features beyond your wildest dreams. In this video, we'll tell you about the most interesting features of the last-gen AI system. GPT-4 is a large multimodal model utilizing the transformer architecture, pre-trained to predict the next token in a document. Although its creators emphasize the fact that it still generally performs worse than humans and admit that it would be a fraud to call it artificial general intelligence, the neural network can do many tasks on par with humans and sometimes better than most of us. The improvement in factual accuracy and desired behavior is an important upgrade to GPT-4 making the fourth generation by 82% safer when dealing with explicit content and by 40% more reliable than GPT-3.5. But this doesn't mean that the GPT-4 result should be taken at face value. Sometimes, the neural network would still create hallucinations and refuse to learn from its experience. Currently, the developers are working intensively to fix this issue. To reduce the error probabilities, the creators of GPT-4 suggest breaking complex tasks into a number of simpler ones and asking the neural network to explain its results. We tried this with the previous version and can confirm that it really works. And yet, GPT-4 has surpassed not only the 3.5 version, but also many people, various tests show. For example, GPT-4 scores in the top 10% of human applicants for the bar exam. By comparison, GPT-3.5 couldn't surpass even the 10% of the worst applicants. Concerning traditional natural language processing tests, GPT-4 outperforms its two previous generations as well as the majority of modern systems. It's reported that GPT-4 demonstrates excellent results in most professional and academic exams. But most importantly, the neural network has learned to work with images. Not only can it explain what's in a picture, but it can also code a website you have a hand-drawn layout for in your notebook. That's pretty cool, don't you think? Besides, users can give tasks to the neural network with any sequence of random texts or images. However, for now, the results are in text format only. We'll have to wait a little to try out the new features ourselves. At the moment, the function is still being tested. Another great news is the context window expansion, the limit decrease of the input information character number. GPT-4 can memorize about 50 pages of content, thanks to that you, for example, can upload a certain extract of the tax code and ask a neural network to calculate your taxes or to answer any other question on the subject. During the technology showcase, the co-founder of OpenAI, Greg Brockman, did precisely that and GPT-4 correctly calculated all the indicators and answered the questions. By the way, according to a theory, the limited context window caused the problems with the strange search results of Microsoft Bing running on GPT-4. Allegedly, the bot's original instructions, which incorporated the principles of good behavior, were quickly superseded during long dialogues. This resulted in Microsoft's restriction of long conversations with Bing. What else can GPT-4 do? For example, it can search similar parts in two texts, or in a text and a website page. Also, the neural network can summarize any text of a given length up to one sentence. Moreover, you can specify a letter, which should begin the first word of the sentence, and the algorithm can handle it, no matter how rare it is. But that's not all. GPT-4 can code for any platform using only text description. If an error occurs during the check, you can just copy the error message to the GPT-4 window and the model will change the code. But this is old news, the previous version was able to do this too. In version 4, even if the model isn't aware of the latest API changes, you can send it all the necessary documentation and the neural network will fix the code as described. You can also set your preferred working environment and the neural network would perfect your code, optimizing the performance. It's a little bit scary, isn't it? Doesn't it mean that the programmers will lose their job along with copywriters and paralegals already being replaced by a neural network? What do you think? 
and yet, GPT-4 is already put into operation. For example, it scans business websites for the Stripe payment platform, holds role-playing conversations with the premium subscribers of the Duolingo language learning app, works as an automated tutor at the Khan Academy online school and scans documents, helps the analysts at Morgan Stanley Bank. GPT Next project is going to be visual volunteering for the Be My Eyes application for the blind and visually impaired. So GPT-4 will be able to tell the app users what is in front of them, what's left in the fridge and what they can cook. In our opinion, the neural network is very useful. Unlike with its earlier versions, OpenAI hasn't disclosed how big GPT-4 is, how much processing power it has, and some other things. That said, since its launch, the number of GPT parameters has grown from 117 million in 2018 to 175 billion in 2020. A number of experts believe that in the latest, fourth version, the algorithm already features tens of trillions of parameters. It's worth mentioning, the more parameters an artificial intelligence model has, the more advanced its general intelligence is. But still, we shouldn't forget that this doesn't mean that GPT-4 is a real artificial intelligence, equal or at least close to the human one. Share your feedback in the comments, tell us what apps you'd like to feature GPT-4, subscribe to our channel to keep yourselves updated on the world of high tech. By the way, how do you like our new virtual host? Dear friends, subscribe us and view us off to our robot YouTube channel. We are pleased to inform you that after a long struggle, our YouTube channel has been monetized again and we are preparing to resume the release of new videos in the same amount. We want to thank everyone who supported us in this difficult period. Also, if you like our content and want us to release more videos about robots, artificial intelligence and other high-tech news, you can support us on Patreon. You will find more information in the description below this video. We look forward to seeing you again and your feedback on the new format. See you soon.